Hello everyone, this is C.J. Wiley with more Adventures on the Road. I uh, have a story that uh, is going to be fun today because I've got one of the guys that was actually at the hustle that we did. And it happened in uh, Burlington, Iowa. And of course, I'm from northern Missouri. And I was with my friend John Emmerich. And we were going up to hustle these guys. But uh, I had a problem. At that time, I was 17 years old, but... Uh, the word was starting to get out and people knew who I was, especially by name. But of course there was no internet, so they didn't know exactly what I looked like. So what my friend and I decided to do is go up and uh, we we're actually gonna trick these guys into thinking that he was me and I was him. So we went into this place and uh, again, you know, they, they suspected that uh, this CJ character was in the area. So I had to, uh, you know, pull some strings and we, we already had it prearranged to be able to uh, convince them that, of course, this John was actually CJ. So it worked pretty good, except for one thing. Uh, the only way they would play is with the eight ball. And, um, you know, they wouldn't play CJ with the eight, but they would play me because I was John. And uh, so I gave the guy the eight ball and uh, he played a lot better than I thought. So what ended up happening is they turned the tables on me and uh, actually beat me out of all my money. Well, I didn't have anything of any value except for my pool stick. So uh, from this point on, I'm gonna let my buddy uh, Mitch tell you what happened because he was there and he tried to warn the guy not to give me money on my pool cue. So Mitch, good to see you brother. Yeah, yeah, back in the day in Burlington, Iowa, on the Sportsman Club, we had a, a professional and or a couple of role players come through every week. So we were used to seeing the strangers come in wanting to play and gamble, and they were always getting action. So we figured when uh, the CJ and John come in, we figured they were role players, and we figured they were going to be you know, good players. And that, uh, although our local player, Wayne, is a good player, we figured we knew he needed some weight, so we talked now the eight, and then we were playing race to the six for 200. And uh, CJ, who was actually, we were calling John at the time, uh, we think we, it was a little bit of a stroke to start with, because we got him down, we had him down about 800, and he had all his money. And, uh, you know, some of these guys always play, try to play an extra set, even though they're broke, and then they say, oh, you well, at least he didn't do that. He was straight at Moss with us. He says, hey guys, he says, I'm, I'm bust. But uh, I would like to sell you my cue and keep playing. If you buy my cue, I'll play off the wall. And Terry, one of the backers and owner of the bar, loved that cue from the time he saw it and he wanted it. And I says, Terry, don't buy that damn cue. Do not buy a cue. Terry had to have it. So <laughs> he bought, he gives uh, CJ, John, we thought, <laughs> CJ, who we thought was John, he is very hard for the cue. And Sure enough, CJ goes and plays out of the out of the rack with an old beat up house cue, and uh, I still thought, you know, the hell we got him going. Well, CJ got in stroke, and before it was all over, he had his eight hundred back. He had eight hundred dollars of our money, and then he had his his cue back. And the moral of the story is, you know, don't give a sucker an even break, but we were the suckers. <laughs> <laughs> So there you have it, more adventures on the road, but from a different perspective, because uh, Mitch here, uh, he's been around a lot, and I was just over at his beautiful house here in uh, near uh, Rockford, Illinois, and uh, I'm up here giving lessons, but we got to tell him pool stories, and it was funny because I couldn't remember exactly how this one went. I remember playing and everything, but I don't remember exactly how I uh, turned the tables on him. Because the road player, you know, occasionally we get robbed, but we always find a way to put the re-rob on people. So anyway, this is CJ. If you want to know more about my uh, adventures and my fundamental systems and techniques that allowed me to become one of the best gamblers in the world and the ESPN world champion, join me at www.cjwiley.com. Please like, share, and give me a comment, and I'll uh, return the favor. Ask me any question and I'll get right back to you. Until next time, this is CJ 
over and out.